These four text layers within the layers panel correspond to these four lines of text here on the canvas. To make a change to the text, click on a layer to select it, and from the character section of the properties panel, make a change. Let's push this up to 80 point, pressing enter or return. Very nice. Now, what if I want to change multiple layers of text simultaneously? Well, simply select multiple layers. Having selected a layer, hold down the command or the control key and click on other layers to include them in the selection. Don't be clicking on the thumbnails with command or control held down, or you will start making selections. To deselect, select, deselect layers. To select a range of layers, click on a layer, hold down the shift key, and click on another layer. Now that I have my selection, like before, simply make a change in the properties panel. Let's try pushing these up to 50. Very nice. Select, deselect layers. Now, what if you prefer not to use the properties panel? Well, if you double click on the thumbnail of a layer within the layers panel, it will switch you to the type tool. And you can make changes via the options bar. Let's push this to 90 clicking in a blank part of the Layers panel to deselect. But how do we change multiple layers simultaneously using this method? Well, like before, let's select our layers. We can see here that the Move tool is currently active. The trick here is to switch to the Type tool. The keyboard shortcut is the letter T. We can now easily make a change Let's bring these back to 45. I'll now select all four text layers. If you ever see blank fields or question marks like this, it just means that the selection contains at least two different values. For example, we have both white and this goldy color currently in play. If you make a change, all of the selected layers will take on that new value. In this case, let's make them all white. I might wrap things up just there, guys. I hope that helps you with your editing of text here in Photoshop. Catch you later.